In this session we're going to talk about error handling and how to control errors and new changes that have been made from version 6 to version 7. So there are two main components that have been changed uh, between these versions and you have the on error tab. This tab was here before but the new change here is that, is that previously this tab controlled uh, what caused an error and what happened when an error occurred. So now this window only controls what causes an error, what, what is an error. And what's new in this window is that we can create separate exit code collections. By default previously we were using the Windows exit code collection and the Windows exit code collection are used in Windows and for example zero represents success and we have a lot of different uh, exit codes and if I open uh, this window for editing uh, exit code collection I see the default Windows exit code collection and you may re recognize these kind of errors which are from Windows and what's new here is that you can also create your own exit code collections. For example, we have some users using Robocopy and in Robocopy uh, exit code 1 is success and if you use that kind of other error handling than the default one you can create your own exit code collection and decide here in, in the task if you want to use it. For example, in this case I want to launch a Robocopy task uh, and I'm using a Robocopy collection so the exit code matches uh, what I call success in this case. And this is important so that the flow between jobs and tasks are correctly handled. So what is also new is that we can control uh, different how or when we raise an error. For example, we can raise a specific error uh, if uh, output contains something specific or uh, a value of a variable is uh, matching another value. So this is the on error tab and we have some changes here. And we have even more changes in the flow tab. And the flow tab is a combined um, tab which controls what happens when, when a job or task completes and uh, you, you are also it is also replacing the notifications tab so you you add new notifications in this tab and by default uh, we have two kind of flows here for example if an error occurs we stop the job that's the normal behavior that we used before and uh, if it's success we continue with the next task this can be changed in, in uh, when editing these flows that we call them and uh, you can also create new flows to match your specific conditions and what we wanted to achieve is that we can now control in more details what happens when an error occurs and and also add some basic conditions for example if I click on add here I'm opening the task flow and you will find that you have uh, this flow tab on, on uh, job level as well. Not as many uh, op uh, task, uh, flow options for controlling because you don't need them but it will look uh, much like this. So for example you can control when this flow happens. For example if it happens on error, on success, or on complete, or on start. Normally you will uh, adjust this, for example, if on error you want to jump to another task. Now in this case I don't have any more tasks in this job, but uh, you'll be able to jump to another task in, in this uh, job and and run task in order. You can also tell it to, to wait and um, and tr try again and you may recognize the settings because they were in the on error tab before but you were not able to create multiple flows for example now 
you may want to have a specific flow when it succeeds and uh, another flow on error and maybe different kind of uh, success flows depending on the output because this flow gives you additional abilities to uh, to control what happens if uh, a specific output or error output or a, a value matches another value or if there's a specific exit code for example you may you maybe only want to jump to another specific task if uh, it matches an exit code or uh, for example the values is uh, higher than another value or if the output contains uh, a specific value and these you can use runtime variables here to to control this and what happens is that if the task fails and failure is based on what you see in the on error tab if it fails it will first evaluate uh, this these the conditions the, the actual flows that are set to this task and for example uh, we are now in the on error event it will try to match if uh, the output contains error for example and if it does it will continue with a task flow control and here you can try you can set it to to run another task run a specific job or run a notification and after that deactivate and the task or the and or the job you can also tra tell it to wait and retry and if, if it finally fails after three times maybe go to another task uh, but the default beha behavior is that uh, on on, uh, on error it will stop the job and on success it will continue to the next task in order but this gives you additional ability to to control in more detail uh, what happens and how to jump between tasks depending on uh, the exit code error or certain conditions so these are the new things uh, presented in the in the flow tab and if we open uh, on the job level we will see similar but then we have run job and run notification and deactivate job but you will see the same events here and you can check for different kind of values or exit code here thank you for listening to this